guys, I'm Laura Vitale. This is me. This is my little sous chef. Mickey. You're mixing, I know. Mm -hmm. Today I wanted to show you how to make a really easy, super simple, minimal ingredient energy balls. Now this is just a very basic recipe that you can take and just turn it however you want. I've gotten a lot of requests recently for these and I've also gotten requests for like an all natural dessert that you can do, Mickey. that you can have if you're doing paleo or Whole30 oh, right now. So I think Mickey. this is perfect. What? Mickey. You are mixing right here. Yeah. I'll give you a little bit more of this. Um, they're really easy and simple. So let me run you through the list of ingredients because like I said, Short and sweet, kind of like moi. In my food processor, I've already done a few things just because I've got a little sous chef here, so it makes it a little easier to get a few things done. I have taken some nuts. You can use any nuts of your choice. I'm using pecans because guess what? After the holiday season, I still have some that I want to use up, so that's what I'm using here. I'm also using some ground flax. You can use oatmeal if you want. <laughs> Is that so funny? You can use some oatmeal if you want to. This is going to be your sort of healthy fat. Um, this has got healthy fat, it's got lots of fiber, it's going to be your binder, it's just all good stuff here, but you can use oats, you can use a little bit of cocoa powder, you can use whatever your heart desires, a mixture of nuts, you do you. Then you'll need some nut butter. I'm using an all natural <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> because it's what I have on hand always and then I never make a run to Costco without sucking up on dates so I've got my fair share of dates to use up and I've got some soaking here in really hot water because it helps them kind of break down easier if they've had a good soaking in some hot water for about five minutes so we're gonna get going and getting this done like I said minimal but so good so handy to have on hand if you're trying to be nice and healthy right now after the holidays we all are I think so now I'm gonna take my dates I've just taken them out of the water this is it was just really hot water and they were soaking for about 10 minutes five minutes will do reserve a little bit of your cooking liquid should you need it you might need a tablespoon and then you're going to take your dates along with your nut butter and you're going to just cream this together in the food processor. It's got to be a food processor uh, or like a blender of some sort. You can do this by hand because you won't be able to finally chop the dates. You won't be able to chop the dates fine enough to get the job done. So I'm going to put the lid on and then just mix them until nice and creamy. All right, I'm going to just add a little bit, oops, about a tablespoon or so of the reserved water from the dates, just to loosen it up a little bit. You can continue to mix, baby. I'm just gonna continue to mix and I'm gonna put, pop this into a large bowl to add everything else. Yes, yes, you can, you can, you can mix. Mm. That is delicious. I've already taste tested some. And I'm gonna add the nuts and the ground flax. And you're just gonna mix this together until it, <laughs> it's all incorporated. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> can I have a kiss? Mwah. Thank you, baby. You're mixing. You have flour in your nose. What happened to your nose? Your eye was mixing too. Can you look at mommy? Let me see your nose. <gasps> you got flour in your nose. <laughs> yeah, you want to make something? You want to mix this? Go ahead, mix. Go ahead. Use some elbow grease. Can mommy help? Wow. You're doing such a good job. Wow, you're so strong with your muscles. That looks fantastic. Now at this point, you just take some of your uh, dough, I guess. Oh no. oh no, your mixture. You just roll them around like that. I just <laughs> use a small ice cream scoop. No way, you can put that in here. A small ice cream scoop, just to make sure they're all the same size. You form them into your balls and then you place them on a uh, parchment paper lined plate. I already have some done because we love these right now and so we are planning on having a couple of batches and then I just roll them around in nuts. Hold on baby. Hey. Just for a little crunch. Go ahead. You don't have to. You can also do this with coconut if you want to but I really like the crunch of the nuts and then you just pop them into the fridge and store them in an airtight container. I keep them in the fridge just because they hold better that way um, and they're phenomenal. And you can do so many different things with them. You can do cinnamon, you could do, I mean, if you're not watching your waistline at the moment, you could do cookie mixes in there, you, like cookie crumbles. You can do so much, but this is a great basic version that kind of teaches you the amount of dates you'll need, the amount of like binder you'll need, and then your healthy fat and yada yada. So I'll leave the recipe 
paulartinthekitchen.com. If you make this or a version of this, please tag me on Instagram so that I can see your creation. I hope you enjoy spending time with us. Don't mind me if I'm a little, you know, out of sorts because I've got a sous chef to keep in line because let me just tell you, she won't run with things if you are not careful. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with us. We'll see you next time. Bye. Mia, can you say bye-bye? Bye. -bye? bye. <laughs>